read circle the correct answer here okay number one giraffes live in africa right number two write the sentence in chat not best because if i see you write in chat i'm going to be very upset because that means you just write it in chat to show off that you can answer the question and other students copy the answer so don't do it other students answer in chat come on number two in chat please chef you're writing thai in chat i'm not we're not doing thai we're doing english come on come on come on you know who you are you know who you are students who don't answer many questions in the microphone or can't answer let me see your answer in the chat in the chat box and if i don't see your name in the chat box then i can't give you a point simple as that right this is a waste of time because nobody's answering okay right we've got one idea okay idea i accept that from you they have got very long necks good and yindi that's what i want good that's what i want don't need packing don't need tara okay okay right good number three the students who are doing chat write it in chat microphone who would like to answer number three in the microphone packing pancake don't need packing don't need pancake anyone else anyone else would like to try number three Okay, no. Pat. No, no, yes. I'd like you to answer, please. Their legs are really long, too. Good. Their legs are very long, too. Okay, good. Right, let's have. Um... Okay, Yindi, good. I'm looking at the chat as well was listening to people um oh minho good do i have minho on my list do i have minho on my list i don't think i do do i no i don't you see that's the idea uh minho 34 that's what i need to know that's the idea of doing this activity today. Good. Yindi, I've got Yindi. Right. Number four, microphone, who? Pufai. Okay, Pufai, yeah, you can go. All giraffes can run fast. All giraffes can run fast. Good. Uh, Pufai, number? Number 33. 33. Yep. And five. Mint. Somebody in chat, someone in chat. Mint, you can do the microphone. Good, Mint. A giraffe dresses is meat. Can you say it again, please? Giraffe dresses eat meat. Good. Who was that? Min number fifteen. Fifteen. Good. That's that's good. That's good. Well done. That's good. And well done, students who are not answering. 
because you're giving those students a chance. Right, number six. Idea. Mm, anyone else before idea? Pack in. Don't need idea really, don't need re packing really. Anyone else? Nato. Nato? Yes. Well, I have you, but yeah, go on then, Nato. I'll let you answer that one. It eats leaves, leaves from, to, from trees. What number are you? 35. 35. It okay. Good. It eats leaves from trees. Okay, seven. Ten. Ten. Say again the nickname, sorry. Again. Pen. 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 What number are you, Pen? Five. Number five. Whoa, I've run out of place on my paper now. <clears throat> Just a moment. I have to write it somewhere else. Pen number five. Oh, yeah, I've got you here. Okay, answer, Pen. Many of people like looking at giraffes. Good. Again, what was your answer? Again, please. Many. No, it's lots. But you tried. That's all I want. You tried. That's good. Right, number eight. Mighty. Yeah, Mighty, you can answer. What number are you? 36. 36. You yeah, can go on, see, Mighty. You can see giraffe at the zoo. Right, you can see giraffes at the zoo. Good. Right, well done. Well done. Oh, Namon's in the chat. Thank you, Namon. Yeah, good. That's what I want. Just to see who is trying. Good, 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 good. Right. Next part is um, read, choose the right word, then write them on the lines. So we can see the example. Lots of children like, and then you choose play, playing or played. The answer is playing. So it's been circled with a color pencil and written on the line. You do the same for one, two, three, and four and five. While you're doing that, while you are doing that, I will talk to you. So you can do that and listen at the same time. So on Monday will be the, the test, as you know. So everyone, make sure you are here in the Zoom meeting, ready to go. The test, I will post the Google form into the chat box, just like we did in the term one test. And then you go, you, you open the Google form, you do the test. When you do the test, what do you do? You take your time. It's not a race. It's not I'm finished first, I am number one. No, it's the student who gets everything correct. So take your time. I'm not putting a time limit on it. Read everything carefully. Choose the answer carefully. One answer to each question. If there's a question that's difficult, don't waste time trying to think of one question. Just move on to the next question. And then when you finish the test, you can go back to that one question and try again. When you finished all the questions, go back and check your answers. Maybe you made a mistake. You didn't see it the first time, but when you go to check, you say, oh, no, that's the wrong answer. Silly me. Then you can change it. Or maybe you forgot to click the answer. Maybe you didn't answer one of the questions and you lose a point. So check your answers. Check when you are when you think everything is OK, then 
you can submit the test. The test will come to my computer and you are done. You are finished. All right. And of course, we will be doing this during the Zoom meeting. So if there's any problems, you can tell me, you can talk to me. All right. I'm not going to give you the answer to the question, but I will help you where I can. Right. Let's go back to the exercise here. Um, children playing football. Lots of the children like playing football. Now, not easy for people to do in chat. Um, students who are who cannot speak on a microphone, you can just write one word answers in chat. Okay, you can write one and the word, two and the word. All right, you can do that in chat. But as far as the speaking goes. I think this will be open to anyone, all right? Anyone who can speak on the microphone. So let's start. You read the whole sentence. So you start the word you, finish at park. Number one, who's starting? Mint, go. Mint. Mint, read number one. Read the sentence. <laughs> Mint's face shot. Min, Min, come on, Min. Min, hold by your leg. Go on, Min. Read. You can. Come on, read this sentence. You, you can play as a fool, or you can play. What's the word? Pack in what you're talking for. Come on, Mint. Try again. Choose the word. In at, it, uh, in on or to. Come on, Mint. What's your answer? Go. In, in the park. In the park. Football player. <laughs> no football player. In the park. Full stop. You start at the word you. You finish at the word park. Go again, Mint. Come on. Read the sentence. Mint, read the sentence. Come on. Start. You can play at school or you can play in the park. Come on, read. Come on, Mint, read. Oh, Mint's gone. Oh, dear. Sorry. Well done for trying. Well done for trying. Okay, somebody else answer. Microphone. Come on, somebody read this. Best, read it. Go. You can play at school or you can play in the park. Right, thank you. In the park, okay. Right. Next, number two, who's reading? No, no, go. Football player wear a shorts and football boots. We don't say a shorts, do we? We don't wear a shorts. Shorts is plural. Wear shorts. Okay. Football players wear shorts and football boots. Good. Next, football matches three. Marty. Anyone else before Marty? Fucking. No, Marty, go. We five. No, Marty. Marty. Football matches are often on Saturday afternoons. Right. Yeah, we say on, don't we, before the name of a day. Four. Pancake. Anyone else before Pancake. No. Idea. No, I don't need idea. Pancake. Go. If you want to play football, you can go. Yeah. All right, stop there. Stop there. Because that's on the next one, isn't it? But you've already answered that one now, haven't you? Start at you, finish at center. Idea. Go. 
If you want to No, say, start at the word you and finish at centre. You can go to a super centre. Yeah, good boy. And well done. Pancake, good. Okay. I know this isn't isn't very difficult. It's quite easy, but it's good because I can see who's who's trying, who's trying, who's trying. Hey, whether that be in chat or whether that be on the microphone. I choose Mint because I could see Mint was trying, and that's what I liked. I could see she was trying. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to push some of the students who are a bit shy. You see. I'm trying to just take away the shyness. Don't be afraid to try. It doesn't matter if you're wrong. Next page. Read the text. Choose the right words and write them on the lines. Again, it's a similar thing, isn't it? Okay. Choose the word. Circle the word. Write it on the line. There. While you're doing that, I will talk to you again about the test. So the test is very much the same as in term one. Yeah, and like your um, unit tests. So you will have questions about vocabulary, which is lesson one from the units. You'll have, um, like if you see a picture of an octopus, something like that, you know, then you choose the answer. It's an octopus. All right. You might have answers, it's a jellyfish, or it's a starfish. Okay, so you have to choose the correct uh, answer to show that you know what it is, the words, vocabulary. Okay, you'll have questions on that. That'll be lesson one from units five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then you'll have questions on the grammar. Grammar is lesson four. From the units so it would be things like must you must you mustn't um, there is some there are some there isn't any there aren't any yep things like that the grammar part of the uh, units that we did which you can see in lesson Four of the units where they have that whiteboard and the, the words on them, yeah. In the book. Then you're gonna you're gonna have some conversation questions where you will like people talking, you know. Like you might see a question something like, um, where do you come from? And then you choose the answer, okay? Something like, I come from Thailand, yeah. You just choose the best answer. All right. It's not about the grammar or the um, vocabulary. It's about choosing what is the right answer to the question. Okay. Like people talking. And you will also have a reading part of the test where you will read a short text or story about something and then underneath there will be sentences and you must choose is that sentence true or is it false yeah you may read something like joe lives in canada is that true or is that false you know from the story all right right so that's that part of the test explained to you Right, back to here, students, you can use chat, all right, some students, please write your answers in chat, all right, if you can't use a microphone, right, we start with sentences, isn't it, so the example sentence, where do you buy your food or it's a question in that case right sentence number one 
Packing. Packing. Most people go to a market or a supermarket. Why do you why do you speak like a robot? But up 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 up. Most people go to a market or a supermarket. I am a robot. You can usually buy all the food you need in a supermarket. Right, who's reading the next one? Nano. Nano. You can usually buy all the food you need in a supermarket. Lots of supermarkets have other things too, like book, toys, and clothes good like books toys and clothes well done that was good reading good reading number three best wait best i know you're good anyone else we fine no Puff, i know you're good too anyone else come on don't be afraid Anyone else? Tara. Mm, I know you're good too. Go on then, Tara, I'll let you answer. Some supermarkets have a cafe where you can buy a drink or something you eat. Good, well done. Right, number four. Number four. Nobody? Pancake. Yes. Oh. Go on then, Pancake. You can park your car in the car park outside the supermarket. Good. Outside, not next. For those of you who choose the word yeah. next, you might think next the supermarket, but that would be next to and not next. So it is outside. Well done. And number five. Idea. Go on, idea. Best. Idea, go. When you finish your shopping, you can put your bags in the car and go home. It's easy. Right. Good. Right. Best. Read all of it. Go. Start at all of it. Go. Where do you buy your food? Most people go to a market or a supermarket. You can usually buy all the food you need in a supermarket, lots of supermarkets have other thing, things too, like books, toys, and clothes. Stop. Good. Marty, continue. Marty, continue. Some okay. supermarkets. Some, super, some supermarkets have a cafe where you can buy a drink or something to eat. You can park your car in the car park outside the supermarket. When you finish your shopping, you can put your bags in the car and go home. It's easy. Good. That's exactly how you should read students, just like, just like Best and, and uh, Marty did then. Try to sound natural when you're reading. Try not to sound like a robot, but also try not to go too fast. So that's good. Good reading, good reading. See, because students who are good reading, I will give you the maximum points for reading, okay? Students who are, <laughs> that's why uh, it's difficult with online.
teaching to know who is good at reading, who isn't. If you don't answer. Right. Okay, so that one's finished. We'll do one more page of this and that's and that will be the end of it. Oop, I've already matched them. Right. Aha. Answers are gone. Right. Very simple. Nice and easy. I would like to see students writing in chat. I would like to hear other students on the microphone. Okay. If possible. If not, then of course, anyone can answer. Right, so how to do this part? We say, this is part of your body, go online, and you say, a hand. Hmm? It's a hand. All right, so what is it? All right, who's starting? First line? First line? Marty. Marty. You can eat this. A banana. Correct. That's what I want. You can eat this. Um, it's a banana. Wait. Wait. What's happened to that? What happened to my? Blah, blah, blah. Try that again. Yeah. You can eat this. A uh, banana. Teacher, we also can eat a. Uh, crocodile. The, the crocodile. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can eat a crocodile. And if you're really, 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 really hungry, you could eat the sock. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, next, this animal. This. This. This animal can swim a crocodile. Ah, how do you know it's not an alligator? Huh? How do you know? All right. This animal can swim. Alligator. Next. Where? Pancake. Pancake. You can wear this. It's a sock. Yeah, you can wear this. A sock. So you only wear one sock, yeah? Not two. Right. Next. Natto. Natto. You can use this to keep warm in bed. A blanket. Very good. Spell blanket. B L A C K E T. B L A N K E T. Spell blanket. B L A N K E T. Right. Good. It's a word not we don't use so much in English, so that's why. Right. Last one. Last one. Nano. Nano. This is for eating soup or cereal out for bowl. A bowl. Yes, a bowl. Spell bowl. B O L W. No, B O W L. <laughs> B O L W. <laughs> Right, good, 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 good. Good. It's okay to be wrong. <laughs> oh, the number of m mistakes I make in spelling. Oh, terrible. Right, read and correct one word. All right, so number four is already done as the example. Bread. Use this to make cakes. Well, you don't make cakes from bread. You can use bread to make sandwiches. So create cakes has been crossed out and changed for sandwiches. Right. Let's start with 
chat box. Number one, first student to write the correct answer in chat. In chat. Best, please don't write in chat because you're fast and then they'll just copy. Come on, other students who are not so fast, write the correct sentence in the chat box about a scarf. Yes, number 20, but I would like a sentence, please. Pray all. And you just write a sentence. Pancake, sentence. Don't want any lazy answers. No points for lazy answers. Come on, you should know by now. Write the sentence. Yes, Poofy. Poofy was the first. You must. You uh, you wear this around your neck. Right, that's what we want. You wear this around your neck. Okay, number two in the chat. Go go go. Not Poofy. Come on. Oh ho oh, oh. ho! Got time. What's time doing here? Hey, eh? what's time doing? It has got water in it and children playing it. Oh, Tara's the no oh, Tara's the number. Yep. Okay. It has got water. In it and children playing it. What has sand in it? If it's got sand in it, what? It has got sand in it and children can play in it. What is that? The microphone. What do we call if it's got sand in it and children can play in it? What is that? Thanking. What are you doing? It's got sand in it and children can play in it. What has got sand in it and children can play in it? Marty? Best? A swimming pool has water. What has sand? A sandbox. Ah, oh, good answer, Best. Or a sand pit. We usually call them a sand pit. Good. Correct. Right. Number three in chat. In the bathroom. Pancake, don't sleep in the bathroom. <laughs> Time doesn't use capital letters, huh? This is part of a house and you wash there. Or maybe some, some student, maybe somebody sleeps in the bathroom. I don't know if your bathroom is big enough. Right, good. Namon, pen, well done. That's what I want to see. Namon, pen. Yeah. Trying. Right, anyone, right, is there any, let's hear somebody answer number five in the microphone. Nope. Eh? One of the more um, quiet, no, one of the more quiet students. Wait time, let somebody else go first. Come on, I'm thinking about mint or... Somebody else? Anyone? Number five in the microphone? 
No. All right. Okay, time. You can answer in the microphone. Go. Children like to reading this. There are a lot of pictures in them. Can you read it again, please? Children like to reading this. There are a lot of pictures in them. Why do you say children like to reading? Where does, where does it say to reading? Just reading, no to. Oh. Children like reading these. There are lots of pictures in them. Maybe you have, maybe you have so, some students who like to eat these. Hmm? Right, number six. Who? Again, number six, nickname? Pen. Okay, pen, good. You use this to clean your shoes' teeth. You use this to clean your teeth. You don't say shoes, you change shoes to teeth. All right? You use this to clean your teeth. But you can use a toothbrush to clean your shoes. An old toothbrush. An old toothbrush is sometimes good for cleaning shoes. Right. But don't clean your shoes with a toothbrush and then clean your teeth with the same toothbrush. That's not a good idea. Not good. Right. Well done. Right. that has anyone got any questions for me about the test on monday have you got any questions anything you need to know don't forget students you know what you have to revise okay from your book it's mostly lesson one lesson four and lesson ten uh, lesson one four and ten not so much from lesson ten and and it's all on YouTube videos. I know some of you are watching the videos, which is good, which is good. That's the idea of it. Right. Students, I'm not sure about. Marty, you have to help me with this. Students, I'm not sure about. Just... Um, I'll stop recording this. I don't need to record this, so stop recording. Right, so that's all for today. Um, any questions you have over the weekend, maybe, you might think you can always ask me online, okay? Uh, see you back here on Monday. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.